If you want to know how to download Torrent safely, you're in the right place. The answer is actually very simple. Start by using a VPN. So let's dive in by answering the first things that come to your mind. Why using a VPN for torrenting is important and why are we even using a VPN for torrenting? Well, most internet service providers don't like torrenting. It takes a lot of bandwidth and slowing down internet connection for P2P enthusiasts is par for the course for them. VPNs combat that by hiding your activity so all ISPs see is that you received information from the VPN server, but they don't know the details. This stops them from slowing or even completely stopping your connection. Another reason lies in the torrenting websites. There are many of those, and more often than not, these websites tend to host malicious content or are straight up infected with malware. A proper VPN will be able to detect that, notify you of the danger, and potentially even detect malware in your downloads, saving you the trouble of de-virusing your device. Finally, VPNs encrypt my entire internet connection, so I don't have to worry that ISPs, websites I visit, or apps I use are gonna track my internet activity. It's an obvious privacy benefit that every user is going to benefit from. That said, all those things only apply if you find a trustworthy VPN provider. The best VPN for torrenting must have good security and privacy standards. This means a high-level encryption, preferably using AES-256 or ChaCha20 algorithms. A reliable audited no-logs policy is a must, as well as a kill switch feature specifically made to deal with IP and DNS leaks. Besides that bare minimum, I prefer it when my torrenting VPN has either optimized P2P servers or allows P2P traffic on all servers. A dedicated proxy is also an option, though those tend to be less secure. So I advise inexperienced users to avoid those. Finally, for the best torrenting performance, a big server list and a modern tunneling protocol are pretty much must-haves. This also greatly helps with streaming. For me, a provider that satisfies all those conditions is NordVPN. Encryption. Both the industry standard AES-256 algorithm and the modern ChaCha20. Check. Four audits of the no-logs policy and system-wide kill switch, check. NordVPN doesn't let me torrent on all servers, but it has optimized P2P servers in 50 countries, check. The SOC 5 proxy with boosted speed, check. Then again, it offers very little security, so use it at your own risk. I warned you. Lastly, NordVPN offers more than 6,000 servers in 61 countries and an industry-leading tunneling protocol, Nordlinks, derived from the second best protocol, WiredGuard. Check. Beyond those bare necessities, I value NordVPN for torrenting because of the threat protection feature. This is both an ad blocker and a reliable detector of trackers, malicious websites, and even malware. This way, I always know if the torrenting website Reddit recommended is legit or if I should run away without ever looking back. And even if I accidentally try to download an infected file, TP will let me know and quarantine it immediately. You guys are in luck because if you'd like to get NordVPN for torrenting, I have the best discounts linked in the description of this video. Or you can scan this QR code on the screen to avoid stopping the video. Before I jump right into the actual torrenting tutorial, let's make one thing clear. Torrenting can be considered illegal in certain countries or violate your ISP's terms of service. So always check your local laws and regulations before committing to P2P downloads. Download Torrent safely, guys. Now, tutorial time. I'll use NordVPN here, but the steps won't be much different for any other VPN torrent combo. I'll start by opening the NordVPN app and going to this map screen. The next step is to open the More Connection Options and click on these three dots next to the P2P option. If you can't see the dots, just hover over the P2P line first. I will connect to a US server, since I'm in the US, and I need a server close to me for the best speeds. If there are no servers in your country, pick the country that's closest to you. Your speed shouldn't suffer that much. The next step is to visit one of the websites to download torrents. I don't recommend just Googling those, as even very popular options like Pirate Bay have lots of malicious, low-quality copycats. NordVPN can protect me from those, but just brute forcing the search for the best can be tedious. I recommend you ask a community on Reddit or any other torrenting related forum for advice. Websites with obligatory signup like Torrent Leech are typically trustworthy, and I use them myself. You can simply type what you're looking for on one of those pages and check what options you have. 
Regardless of what you're downloading, you'll typically have a choice between downloading a .torrent file or using a magnet link. There's no significant difference. Both will prompt you to open your torrenting app like Qubit Torrent. I recommend using this one, by the way. It's a lightweight application without the overbearing ads or bloatware. As soon as we run the torrenting app and start downloading, all that's left is waiting. Go and watch a few of my videos on the CyberNews channel until the download is finished. Oh, and make sure the kill switch is enabled in your NordVPN app. You don't want your torrenting data leaking in case of a connection break. And that's how to torrent safely from anywhere. All you need is a reliable VPN provider with a lot of servers, good performance, and trustworthy security. While NordVPN is still the first that comes to mind, providers like Surfshark or ExpressVPN are also often used for P2P with decent results. If this video was useful, but you still have questions about VPNs and their use, check out one of these videos to learn more. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon.